Hey, welcome back to the lecture. In the previous lecture, we updated our kernel image. We have to do one more settings in our target. That is, we have to make sure that our board can communicate with the internet. This is very important because uh, later, if we want to install any packages on our BeagleBone Black hardware, then we should have internet connectivity. Now, in this lecture, I'm going to explain how you can enable internet over USB. So BeagleBone board can communicate to the internet over the USB cable by sharing your PC's internet connection. You need not to use a separate Ethernet cable to connect your board to internet. The required drivers are enabled by default in the kernel and loaded when Linux boots on the board. But you must enable internet sharing on your host. In this lecture, I'm going to explain these steps. First, let's look at target settings. In the target settings, you have to touch two files. One is resolve.conf and another one is interfaces files in the etc network path. Then you have to add the default gateway address by running the below command. The default gateway in our case is our system that is host. First, let's do the target settings and later we can see what are the host settings required in order to share your system's internet with the target. First, let's head over to our command prompt and I am in the targets terminal. And this is BeagleBone. So now here, just do ifconfig. When you do ifconfig, you should see internet over USB interfaces such as USB 0 or USB 1. But we don't see anything here. That means the internet or USB drivers are not loaded. If you are seeing something like this, then do not worry. Just reboot the BeagleBone Black hardware. Just type the command sudo reboot and enter the password. Now the board is rebooting. Just log in. Just run ifconfig. Now you see two interfaces, USB 0 and USB 1. Through this interface, the board communicates to the internet or to the network over the USB. Now you can just ping to the host by running ping command. Just try this command 192.168.7.1. This is the address of the host. If you just run this command, you can see that we are able to establish the connection. And after that, let's try to ping to google.com. Now you see this error temporary failure in name resolution. That means we have to set the DNS server address. For that, what you should do is we have to touch two files. One is etc resolve conf and etc network interfaces file. First, let's edit etc resolve.conf. Just type sudo vi etc resolve.conf. Enter the password. Go to the insert mode by typing i. Here, just type name server 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And again, one more time, name server 8.8.4.4. After that, save and exit. After that, again, sudo vi etc network interfaces. Here, go to the insert mode and come at the end. Here, type DNS name servers 8.8.8.8 and one more time dns name servers 8.8.4.4 if you need any help you can check in the ppt dns name servers dns name servers twice and save and exit
After that, go for this step, add default gateway address by running the below command, route add default gateway. Let's run that command, route add default gateway 192.168.7.1. This is host IP address. Just use sudo here. That's it. But this command is really important. And whenever you reboot your BeagleBone, you should run this command. Fair enough. Let's move forward. Let's check the host settings. In the host setting, you have to run these commands in order to share your system's internet connection with the BeagleBone Black hardware. And remember that if you reboot your machine again, you must run these commands. So it's better if you create a small script and execute when your machine reboots. That's why I have attached a script with this lecture. Just download that script, usbnet.sh. That's the script name. Keep that in your home directory. And uh, just run that script. It will enable the internet sharing. Basically, that script contains all these uh, commands. Let's head over to our command prompt. Let me go to the host. Here, I have copied that script, usbnet.sh. Here, you have to verify this name. This is the interface name wlp2s0 that is true for my machine but it may be different for your machine so you have to change it here and here let's see how to change that just run ifconfig on your machine my machine is connected to the wi-fi and this is the interface wireless interface wlp2s0 that's why i used this name in the script if you are see something different then you have to use that name you might not be using wi-fi or you may be using wired connection or something like that then you should check what is your primary internet connection interface when you run ifconfig and you have to use that name that's the reason i used this name here network interface name please verify this name that is very important after that what you do is just give executable permission to the script chain mode plus x usb net sorry i have to run sudo here and after that just run that script sudo usb net dot sh that's it Go to your target and ping www.google.com. Now you can see that it is able to do the name resolution and it can able to ping. And then run the command sudo apt get update. You can install any packages if you want by running sudo app get install on your BeagleBone hardware. Now let's just reboot the board. Let's see what happens when we reboot the board, whether we can still able to communicate to the internet or not. Now let's try to ping to google.com. Now you see, uh, we cannot able to communicate. What you should do is, you have to add the default gateway once again, because the default gateway entry is removed. So you have to add that again sudo route add default gateway 192.168.7.1 now let's try it connects whenever you reboot the host then you should run that internet sharing script again please remember that so with that note i would like to end this lecture and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture